Hey soul family, what's up? What's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa and this is the Lion's Den. Lion Paw up top. Meow. It's good to see you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. My name is Isa, like I said, and I'm doing the daggone thing today for my babies, my Leos. Welcome home. Mama was waiting for you. Okay, I was waiting for you. All right, guys, it's good to see you. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. My generous, kind, powerful, loving, incredible, sexy, amazing Leos. Because I'm a Leo too. Meow. This is the only place on the internet where you could just be Leo. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not. But you know, I am filled with the drama today. So therefore, as a man thinketh. Right? Anyway, guys, thanks so much for being here. This is your general reading for the mid month. So um, anything can come out in this reading. We're going to talk about probably work, money, all sorts of things. Love, definitely. Okay. Uh, please keep in mind that the roles can be reversed here. I could be saying you in this reading and it could be resonating as a person that you're dealing with, a boss, anybody in your family or in your life. Okay. So please take the messages as they resonate. Leave the messages that don't. If none of the messages resonate for you at all, Leo, please feel free to check your rising moon and your um, Venus signs. Uh, readings and if those don't resonate at all then feel free to check out the older readings you know the drill down in the description box that's where you can find me on other social media outlets it's also where you can make a donation to my channel and you can purchase a lot of the cards that I use for the readings all right today I'm using Rider weight by the way um, and I'm currently not taking any personals so there's that period i i don't even have time guys um if and when i do i will let you know so don't get scammed okay um and last but not least if any of this does resonate for you my dearest lovely leos please make sure you smash the love button uh definitely subscribe by hitting the subscribe button that's floating around down there and make sure you hit the top notification bell that will tell you every time i'm over here just doing a daggone thing and look at this so fine <laughs> you know what i'm saying jump back kiss myself i'm gonna start needing a cape after these readings because i need to cool down you know what i'm saying i need to like james brown walk off after i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm kidding i'll be ridiculous today all right guys so let's jump in don't forget to comment down below if you feel like just saying hi meow lion paw whatever it is birth dates whatever just holler at your girl just saw the Knight of Cups. Somebody's coming at you. Coming, coming at you. All right, what do we have here for Leo, please? Show me what's up with Leo mid February. What does Leo need to see and know what's coming for Leo, please? Page of Wands, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Justice. Oh, shuck it up. Oh, Leo. Hello. I really hope this is going to be positive when we start to clarify, like, this ain't no, like, y'all getting divorced. This looks like a soulmate coming through and quite potentially a higher level of commitment, okay? But let's look, let's go forward, all right? What else do we have here, please, for Leo? Yes, my love. You just, I know, wow. You just sitting here looking at me? Wow. Wow. Okay. Lady Sassy Pants is over here. What else do we have for Leo, please? Okay, bottom of the deck. I have a true pair out. What's the overall energy for Leo, please? Five of Cups. You guys are sad about something, okay? But, you, like, I feel like y'all are getting your money together, but there's a lot of stress that you're having to go through to do this, to have some sort of new beginning here with the Ace of Wands, okay? There's a lot of anxiety around a decision um, that you needed to make or you um, have already made here, okay? It could have been to cut somebody off out of your life. Maybe it makes you feel sad, 
right now, but a lot of you knew that you uh, needed a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands in order to have this um, long term wealth I'm seeing okay so some of you are looking at money in the long term you're looking at like purchasing homes buying land real estate these types of things like things that are going to uh benefit you in the future and I think that some of you had to make a very tough decision when it came to your own um how, what's the word that I'm looking for spirit guides um your own stability really okay i think that you guys were yeah knight of cups and and again the nine of pentacles so i think when it came to love some of you made a decision uh regarding somebody uh because it was affecting what was happening for you in the long term if that makes sense like you might have loved somebody right but like logically maybe oh because we have out the king of swords and we have out the queen of swords this is a lot of logic right this is a lot of thinking about things in a clear-headed way and talking about those things logically there may have been something that wasn't working for you in a previous connection and some of you either you cut it off or a series of events happen where you cut this particular uh, connection off but this is actually for your benefit you know what i mean like sometimes the universe boom throws you a wheel of fortune right destiny takes control and um all of a sudden you know somebody else comes into your life after you move a stagnant energy out of the way which could have been old energy from a residual relationship or an actual person okay so here we have the page of wands you guys are just out here being curious right about maybe some new beginnings maybe you're curious about love that's kind of how i feel a little bit so some of you might be on like a new kind of journey when it comes to love after having some sort of breakup that was a little bit difficult for you guys there may be some residual sadness that you're feeling in this overall energy with the five of cups okay it could be your person too so please take that as it resonates for you but I feel like you guys are sad, but you knew that you needed a new beginning. You were dealing with somebody who was quite immature here. Okay, page of wands. I don't feel like they were exactly ready to be loved unconditionally or um, this person was not capable of unconditional love just yet. Their, their love may have been conditional. Okay, so I feel like Leo, somebody lost you. All right. And replacing that boom, somebody who wants to be 100% committed to you, somebody you have the same emotional uh, love and exchange with right unconditional love being exchanged here and also somebody with justice Libra energy who wants to bring balance fairness and a higher level of commitment to your life okay this is somebody i feel like walking into your life and like after not a long period of time being like i love you and i want to marry marry you there's a huge change in fortune here this is kind of like karmic justice when it comes to love happening for you if it's not in your department of love for some of you, it's going to be in your department of your finances or your career. There's a message coming in here with the Page of Wands that is going to be very, very good for you. There's going to be either a partnership, money, or some type of job that's coming through. For some of you, you might work in law. You might be writers. Um, you could work in some sort of like official office or government office, something like that. Okay. So a really beautiful opportunity is coming here. You may feel a little bit conflicted uh, deep inside with the five of wands about taking the offer. There may be also a lot of competition. You could be in competition with a lot of other people, but I feel like it's, it's good for you. Okay. Be confident. Be confident. Don't be intimidated by the competition because you're a fucking Leo. Okay. I said it. You are a Leo. Um, excuse me, but which person is who? I'm sorry. Who who's running things? That's right. I'm sorry. Tell me again. What do all the planets circulate around? When do they when do, okay? That's right. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the sun, right? And the sun ain't a planet, bitch. It's a star. We talk about it all the time. Hello. Hello. All right. So that means this huge offer is coming through for you guys. Okay. Uh it with the ace of pentacles. That's what I feel like. 
all right? The thing about it is, is that you may have to leave a person or a situation behind to get what you truly want here. Five of Cups, that's hard. It's it's not an easy, you know, there's maybe some mixed feelings about it and that's perfectly okay, all right? But trust the process, trust the process. You are definitely cutting off a person or a thing here with the Queen of Swords and Justice directly above it. Because anything that is going to get in your way, stand in your way, or cause you any kind of issues, Leo, you guys are really not into it, okay? You're very clear about what you're doing, where you're going, what you really want for many of you. And if you're not right now, you will be getting extremely clear. All right. Let's start seeing uh, why, let's start clarifying why we have this page of wands here. Why is the page of wands here for Leo? Hi, lady sassy pants. Hi. Wow. All right, why else do we have this page of wands? All right. Some of you are saving money, okay? You're on a new financial journey after a, a difficult time of feeling like you were losing money, okay? I feel like you're being really <laughs> guarded um, about yourself and about what you have, okay, and protecting it. You had a really... A hard time I feel in the past but now you're on this new adventure where you're like no no if I've got a second chance here and I finally put this bad cycle either with a person or your finances or your job behind me I'm gonna have to move forward in a different way and I'm gonna have to watch my back okay why is the queen of cups here boom the lovers king of pentacles Ooh. Y'all done met somebody here. You are definitely, I feel like you guys are really in love here. Queen of Cups, the lovers. This is soulmates, twin flame, energy, king of pentacles. Guys, after having cut somebody off, I feel like, boom, perfect thing. We got soulmate energy popping up here, okay? You could have been with somebody that was maybe like a false twin flame or some type of karmic energy. And it's like, even though it hurt to have to let it go, the only reason that this beautiful thing is coming through now is because you made the tough decision to let that particular relationship go. All right. This is beautiful. And you've got a solid king of pentacles, not a page. Okay. Like this page of wands. Could have been dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Definitely the two heavier signs here. And this person would have been immature. I feel like it was tough to be with them. Okay. Uh, and this person may have held back a lot of their feelings and action toward you for whatever reason. All right, Leo, why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Uh-oh. Emperor in reverse. Ooh. Yeah. That's a person who is abusing their power. Somebody, somebody didn't know what they had. Okay. Why do we have this two of cups here, please? That's Aries energy. Could have been dealing with an Aries. I just said fire sign too. Ace of pentacles. Okay. Like I said, somebody here was a bit tyrannical at some point. Um, there was, a. Uh, I feel like this is the like a different person or another person. There was some sort of soulmate connection here. Um, but this person that had a loss of power, they may not have felt very confident about it, okay? And I think for many of you, there was instability. This person may have had issues with their anger. You may not have felt very protected by this person. or This person just felt a, like a lack of power and control in their lives. Um, they may have had money issues as well too, because the Ace of Pentacles is here. So I think it was hard for some of you, um, to make a decision to not be with this person, but I think you did it. Okay. And it's like, boom, all of a sudden, bang, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, you have this new person come in here. Okay. Why is justice here, please? For Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Yep. Things working, being in balance. Why else do we have this justice here? Three of pentacles. This person that is coming into your life, if they haven't come yet, or who has just entered to your life, this person, fairness, they work hard. They have, this is, 
they plan for things they plan for the long term they work toward the long term this person is bringing you some sort of like it's like karmic justice right they're competent they they have a lot to offer here you might meet this person on the job for many of you okay why is the king of swords here please for leo why is the king of swords here yep yeah, you guys left the other person because I feel like you were investing a lot of energy into them. And I think that you ended up telling them with the King of Swords quite possibly. But I feel more like this is you being wise counsel. You know, this is you maybe talking to other people, really sitting with yourself and knowing that you deserve better. Okay, because you're really looking at long term here with the Seven of Pentacles. You want to see results. And I think that many of you may not have seen any result from this relationship. So there could have been some sort of long-term, maybe even short-term relationship. And I feel like a person made promises they never really made good on sometimes. It was a lot of talk and not enough action. Okay, a lot of talk with the King of Swords, not enough action. We should see like a King of Wands out here. You know what I mean? We should see some shit happen. But this person is not, is not making it happen. Twin flame and the two of pentacles with the five of uh, wands. So you were dealing with a person who may have been juggling you quite possibly. There was a competition here, okay? Definitely maybe in and out of your life with some sort of twin flame connection, but you've ended that, okay? I feel like you ended it because you're really looking for a deep soul connection. You're not looking for a five of wands drama, right? You, we're not, mm -mm. listen sloppy sally kick rocks we're not doing that anymore man it's 2022 bro okay we just had dre and all these guys do the super bowl thing and they're old as hell now and they were still jamming all right see generation x gen x we don't crack baby we come back strong i can't say that for 50 cent though <laughs> bruh i cannot say that for 50 cent bro let me tell you something. All right. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yes! Because of the Two of Cups. Oh, my God. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, you got a destined meeting? Oof. Oof. Page of Cups. Oh, my God. Guys, like I said, brand new love coming in here. But you had to let go of this old connection. The old connection you have is incredibly important for whatever reason to this connection. And I think that, Leo, some of you may have needed to be in that connection in order to be in some sort of awakening process for some of you to like... Maybe you had some old stories around love, something around love, right? Maybe you had some dark night of the soul stuff, like you were doing some deep soul searching and this person came along, you know, either in the middle of that or when you're, you know, um, coming out the other side of that. And it's sort of like, I want to say almost like a test run, like this person was a test run for the real deal. Okay. And, and this is hurtful because I don't think you didn't love or care about that person. I think you put everything into that, but you realize I have to walk away. I almost feel like you were getting messages or somebody, like maybe you're watching readings or maybe friends were coming along saying, man, you got to let that go, man. There's something better for you coming. And there is, I'm telling you, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups, Page of Cups. This is a faded relationship, okay? a faded relationship for some of you i'm gonna say this maybe y'all are working out some something you have problems with okay i'm just saying maybe y'all are working something out with somebody you have problems with okay like there was a big disconnect here there might have been some jealousy some sort of stuff happening here but it's possible but i definitely see a beautiful new love here and this is perfect timing this is news of love this is romance oh my god falling in love with somebody and this is all happening right it's like a chance meeting i feel like it's like a chance meeting it's like perfect timing okay a chance meeting wow queen of swords why is that here please 
And subconsciously, you guys wanted this with the Ace of Pentacles. You wanted this new offer. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I feel at the end of the day, you cut this person off because you felt like they were lying to you. Uh, but with the Seven of Swords, like you guys and, and the Queen of Swords and the Magician, I feel like you consciously manifested this. You may have un like subconsciously manifested it but i i feel like you were being honest with yourself here and that's why this this manifested you had to be honest with the person that you split up with and you had to be honest with yourself and sometimes that's really really hard to dig really deep and say can i really i love this person but can i really see this working out whether there's shit going on in the in the connection or there's not really all that much shit, but this person can't offer you much of anything, right? Do you really, really see long term? And I think you guys really thought about that. You might have been trying to make this look a lot better than it was for some of you. All right, Leo. I think y'all were trying to make this look like it was roses, but the shit was like sunflowers. Okay, not that some that's I love sunflowers, but you get what I'm saying. You're trying to make, uh, you're trying to make the situation with the past person better than it was. And, you know, and I think that literally you guys were manifesting the right person all the while. Okay. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Hierophant. Oh my God. Y'all, I cannot... I cannot. Some of you might meet this person while you're traveling, okay? Hierophant, Taurus energy. So you have somebody offering serious commitment coming in here. This is a person that's like wants to marry you, okay? This is a person right off the bat. It's like they're going to know Leo is the right thing, okay? A lot of you ask me when. So I'm going to ask the cards when. When can Leo see this connection coming through here, please? When? And I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do this. When can Leos see this coming? This is not something we can normally do in tarot. But could be four months. We have the four of cups. It's also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Pisces is what? Um, end of February and March, right? Am I right? I think so. Uh, cancer, we're talking the end of June and through to, I think, June 22nd or June 23rd, which are July 23rd. I mean, so the uh, mid-June to, no, wait, late June into the end of July, around the 23rd, because the 23rd starts Leo, I believe. Um, and then Scorpio season, so we're talking late October and into November, okay, into later November. So you could be looking at those times, all right? I figured I would just do that to see what we got. Now, why do we have the Five of Cups? Thank you. That was the challenge. Yeah, I think Four of Wands in reverse, there was a lot of instability in that connection, and you guys were hopeful that it was going to turn out to be something. You know, you were no longer excited about it. It just became like whatever. It felt more burdensome than it felt being happy in the relationship with the person. Plus, I think there was not commitment coming forward. Somebody might have talked about it, but they never actually took action on the commitment happening with you guys. Yeah, Five of Cups again at the bottom. Okay, page of swords. Somebody could be spying on you, though. I feel like there's the, that person from the past may want to come towards you because they're still feeling hopeful with the star card. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a, a Cancer there. Now, I want to see what's your challenge, and then I'm going to move on. What's Leo's biggest challenge? Thank you. The cards are just flying. Letting go of any negative thinking, okay? Don't keep yourself trapped in a certain state of mind. Don't overthink whatever decision you need to make or you have made about your past person, okay? This is the part where you really, really get to trust the process because that person who comes before the one is always a tough one. It's always a tough one because you see it, it's like that point of like the massive potential 
but this is like making a higher self decision, right? Because you see that there's something here that's keeping you from really the long term in this and your person is probably stalling to this old person. So let go. You're going to have to let go of any negative way of thinking, keeping yourself stuck, um, you know, overthinking, anxiety, that kind of stuff. Okay. It's going to be challenging for you. All right. Don't get stuck in your head about it. You're just going to have to make the decision if you really want true love, Leo, because it's coming here. Okay. This is what you've been looking for. This is all the stuff you've been manifesting, working on manifesting. That's why we have the seven of swords. You were creating this. You are planning this for the long term. This person wants to be with you long term and they feel like, holy shit, you know, this is a blessing here. You both manifested each other. What do we have here for Leo, please? What do we have for Leo? Honeymoon, hell yeah, free yourself. Oh my God, it is time to take back control of your life. I feel like that's freeing yourself energetically or freeing yourself from a relationship that's long been done. Okay, Leo. And then we have the honeymoon. That's, I feel like, what it's going to feel like when you meet this person. Okay, things I feel like will happen very quickly between the two of you and it's going to be very beautiful. This is definitely a soulmate, guys. This is totally a soulmate. This person could be younger than you too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy very heavy here. So you're the person that's now coming into your life here uh, it could be one of those signs. And this person is very dedicated and committed to you. And right away, this person is going to know. They're going to make an offer right away to you to be in a long-term relationship because they're going to know. All right. But you're going to have to get rid of this, this energy that you might be hanging on to of feeling sad. Okay. Because that's stopping you from moving forward. The honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday uh, bliss together. Okay. I feel like that's just the kind of energy you're going to have with them. Let's see. What else? I got another card for you. I got another card for you. What else do we have here, please, for my beautiful Leos? What else? The boat. Receiving what you need. <sighs> Do you smell la 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 la? What the future's cooking. Okay, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, move on, closure issues. I feel like your person could have some closure issues here, okay? But I do feel like you're sailing on, all right? You're like, all righty, bye starboard port all the things right heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving mourning and i think you're going through a grieving process with this not only is your person going to be heartbroken but i feel like you guys are also heartbroken too okay because it's not easy i think whoever you were with you really love that person i think you felt a deep spiritual connection with them but there's been something better for you twin flames yin yang zen balance union duality coupling complement each other i feel like some of you are about to meet that one person this person that could be coming in your future is a twin flame for some of you you were dealing with a twin flame and this person taught you a lot of lessons when it comes to love okay they taught you a lot of lessons um and and that's the space that we get to be in you know what i'm saying guys all jokes aside because i'm always cracking jokes um you know we're always hopefully we're always going through some sort of awakening process or awakening process whether we have an awareness of it or not and twin flame people are really special as aggravating and as frustrating and as crazy as those those relationships can be they're what leading us they are leading us to this they are what is leading us to this kind of love right this kind of love that we don't even see it coming, right? You're not seeing this coming, but you know deep down this is coming because you know that you've been working on it. You know that you've been planning for this. You've been you've been waiting. You've been working toward it. You, you made it happen. You manifested it yourself, okay? It's hard, it's hard to let go of people uh, a lot of times when we really could see, you know, if this if that but you know you deserve the type of love and relationship that never says if this changes or when that changes 
right? So always be grateful for the people that totally put you through some shit or your twin flames. I know it's hard, guys. I've been there. Trust me, I've been there. Y'all don't want to sit down and have a glass of wine with me because I got stories. Believe me. Um, but these people are blessings. You know, they lead us to uh, where we really need to go, the arms of the people and the hearts of the people that match us. Um, and they really are blessings. They help us really heal those uh, darker energies that we have. Okay, so I feel like you guys, you know, release that, release that person and release this stuff. And when you release them, you're releasing them to to find the love that they need and they deserve, whether that looks like good to you or whether it looks like whatever, you know, a blessing or whether it looks like, bitch, I hope you get hit on the head with a brick. Okay. <laughs> right so i love you guys leo this is what i have for you right now thank you so so much for being here guys i as always i love you so so much i wish you all the best go out there kill it you know what i'm saying rise and grind every day um please make sure you smash the love button if any of this did resonate for you and definitely make sure you subscribe all right guys i'll be seeing you on the next one love you leo bye